Hi Super Kids, it's Miss Alexa. I hope you guys are all having fun with your families at home. I miss you all so, so much and I cannot wait till we're all back together again. But until then, we're gonna keep doing these fun videos, okay? Today I'm gonna be teaching you and I'm gonna be teaching you about something very, very, very important but it's something that's really hard to do and a lot of people don't like to do it. I'm going to be teaching you about forgiveness and how we should forgive others when they do mean or bad things to us. So before we start, I wanna make sure that everyone has their Bibles. So if you don't already have it, pause the video and go get your Bibles really, really fast. And if you already have it, then high five. So now that we all have our Bibles, I'm going to talk to you about what forgiveness means. Now, I'm sure all of you have heard the word forgiveness before, but I'm not sure if you know exactly what it means. So, forgiveness is when we don't hold someone's mean things against them. So when someone does something mean to us, we forgive them and we don't hold it against them. Jesus forgave us by dying on the cross for our sins, and by doing that, we can live with him in eternity. He forgave everyone of all their sins ever, the ones they did commit and the ones they haven't committed yet, because that's how good he is. Because Jesus died on the cross for us, the Bible tells us to forgive others when they do mean things to us. Sometimes people will say they're sorry for what they did, and it's a lot easier to forgive them. But sometimes they won't say they're sorry, and it makes it harder. But we still are told to forgive them no matter what, because Jesus did. Now for our Bibles. I'm going to be reading to you from the book of Matthew, which is the first book in the New Testament. We talked about Matthew last week, so you should know where it is. We're going to be reading from Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. You don't have to read along if you don't want to, and you can just listen if you want. But if you want to read along, go ahead. Verse 21 says, Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him by the neck and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Wow, doesn't Jesus tell such great stories? The point that Jesus was trying to make is that because the king forgave his servant, the servant was supposed to forgive the other servants. That's just like how Jesus, our king, forgave us. So we are told to forgive others. Now I'm going to give you three tips to help you when you have to forgive someone. Tip one. So put a finger up for number one. The first tip is to forgive someone when they say, I'm sorry. So if someone does something mean to you and they say, I'm sorry, you need to forgive them because that is what the Bible tells us to do. Now, number two, put up number two. The second tip is to forgive people even when they don't say, I'm sorry. So if someone does something mean to you and they don't say they're sorry, you still have to forgive them because that's what Jesus did for us. 
And tip number three, put up three fingers, last one, is to forgive someone even when you don't feel like it. Forgiving is a very hard thing to do, especially when the person who did something mean did something really, really mean or bad. Sometimes you won't feel like forgiving them and you won't want to, but you still have to do it. And it's not going to be easy. It's not like you can just say, I forgive you, and you'll forget about it. Sometimes you have to say it a lot of times. And sometimes you have to pray and ask God to help you forgive that person. Now I'm going to tell you a story about a time I had to forgive someone even when it was really hard. At the beginning of the school year this year, I had a friend and we were super close. She was like one of my best friends at school. But she said and did some mean things that really hurt my feelings. And even though she didn't say I'm sorry, I still forgave her because that's what Jesus tells us to do. It was really hard to forgive her. I didn't just say, I forgive you and forgot about it. It was a lot of time of praying and being sad. It's okay to be sad when someone hurts your feelings, even if you still forgive them. And it took time, but I forgave her. And that's just what you guys have to do when somebody does something mean or says something mean to you. Because that's what Jesus does. Let's pray. Repeat after me, okay? One, two, three, four. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, please help us to forgive just like you forgive us. Amen. Bye. I love you guys so much and I miss you and I cannot wait to see you next week.